In this video, you will learn how to use the semi-automatic scoring system, PAR Index. You will also get a brief introduction to PAR Index scoring and what it is used for. The PAR Index, also called Peer Assessment Rating, is a screening instrument with which malocclusion can be assessed at any time during diagnosis and treatment. It is used to measure malocclusion objectively and compare treatment outcomes scientifically. The PAR index is used for validation of orthodontic treatments in two ways. Firstly, the difference between the scores before and after the orthodontic treatment shows the improvement produced by it. Secondly, doctors are measured based on their general performance with the PAR index. You also have to remember to prepare the case for PAR scoring. Perform segmentation of maxillary and mandibula, set the standard planes, Overjet and overbite should be set for the four anterior teeth and the two incisors, respectively. Please see our scoring system introduction video for more details. Once in Ortho Analyzer, select Questionnaire from the Analysis section. In the pop-up window, select the PAR Index option from the drop-down list. You will notice that the scoring system steps appear on the left and you are able to click the specific step to go to it. In the upper anterior segment section, you should define the overlap of any of the social six teeth in the upper jaw. Firstly, look at the upper left two to three displacement. Click the Define button to measure the overlap and set the score accordingly. In cases where there is no displacement, simply select the answer zero millimeters to one millimeter. Continue with the upper left 2 to 1 displacement and then the next one until all five steps are answered. When the upper anterior segment is done, the same procedure should be repeated with the lower anterior segment. In the left buccal occlusion section, you should inspect the model visually for any buccal malocclusion, from the canine to the last molar. The first step is the anterior-posterior dimension, where you should look for occlusion class. Inspect the model and choose the appropriate answer. Next is the vertical dimension. Here you should look for an open bite, inspect the model and choose the appropriate answer. The final step is the transverse dimension, where you should look for crossbite. Inspect the model and choose the appropriate answer. When the left buccal occlusion is done, the same procedure is repeated with the right buccal occlusion. In the overjet and anterior crossbite section, all the incisors are included. Start with the overjet where you simply select the answer that corresponds with the highest overjet value shown. The last step is anterior crossbite. Here you should also inspect the model and choose the appropriate answer. In the overbite and open bite section, you should assess if the patient has a deep overbite or an open bite. Start with the overbite deep. Here the greatest overlap between the antagonistic incisors is assessed. Inspect the model and choose the appropriate answer. The last step is an open bite, where you should click the Define button to measure the greatest distance of fully erupted teeth, if any. Select the appropriate answer according to the measurement result. In the Midline Assessment section, the transverse discrepancy between the upper and the lower center line going through the central incisors is assessed. You should inspect the model and choose the appropriate answer. At the end of the analysis process, you'll see the summary. It consists of all the steps involved in the PAR index scoring. Any unanswered steps will be correspondingly marked in red, so you can go back to them and complete, if needed. The unweighted total and the weighted total boxes to the bottom of the questionnaire's window indicate, if applicable, the unweighted score of all the steps multiplied by the scoring weight assigned to every one of them, respectively your PAR index scoring result will be the weighted total. In this video, you have learned what the PAR index is and how to use it from the questionnaire function in OrthoAnalyzer. 
We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.